Yes. You may have permission to walk in the building, mm -hmm. but you don't have permission to talk to people. Patient confidentiality trumps whatever no, law it does of not. access. It does not trump the First Amendment of the United States Constitution, okay? Get him off the premises. Okay, look. You don't do it, I'll call the sheriff. Hey guys, it's your boy here, Good Citizen News. I hope you're having a great day today. Alright guys, so I've got a banger video, as you've seen by the intro. <laughs> this is going to be part one of three. I have about a two and a half hour long video and the first hour and a half I edited down to 40 minutes. So yeah guys, we, we've got a video ahead. I hope you enjoy. This gets crazy and then it gets really good. So just stay tuned all the way to the end guys. It gets really, really good. And I will be posting up part two and then part three um with some complaints and some uh follow-up guys so stay tuned i'll see you guys in the next one peace out all right guys so the date of this video was november 22nd of 2022 and um we are at the galveston county health district this is this holds a lot of different uh Galveston County medical facilities and stuff like that that do um, immunizations, community health services, WIC, veteran services, and that's just in this one building. There's entry A, B, and C, and so there's basically three different buildings, and we're just hitting entry B for the first part of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, remember to smash that like button, share, and subscribe, guys. Also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, also guys, uh, my donation links are in the description below and they will be in the pinned comment section to help keep me on the road and bringing y'all this amazing content. How's it going? Good. Are you looking for somebody? Hmm? Are you looking for somebody? Oh no, I'm just gathering some intelligence. Okay. For GCHD? Hmm? For GCHD? Oh no, for myself. Oh. You have any questions about WIC? 
Not right now. Oh. Yeah, I'm back around. I'm just getting some uh, B-roll right now. Like for the county? Hmm? Like for the county? Oh, no, for myself. This is all for me. Oh. Okay. Is there any information you need? Yeah, not right now. I'll be back in a little bit. Do you have like a badge? Hmm? Do you have a badge to come into these offices or? No, I'm just going to the public areas. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is not a public area though. What? Like our classroom, our meeting room. It was unlocked and doesn't say authorized personnel only, so that's the only way it can be restricted is if you have, it's either got to be locked or it's got to be um, restricted to. Go to close the I'm not really sure. I can't really let you back here with clients. Well, I mean, you just need to close the door. Okay. That would be the best option. If I can help you with anything, though. Oh, no, I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, don't worry. Sorry. And make sure the door's locked so people don't confuse it and y'all should put a sign that says authorized personal okay online. i just want to be rude and close the door on you no you're good you're fine don't worry you have a good day ma'am Do here? Nothing. Not is that on? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, I just wonder what services y'all provide here. Well, every uh, almost every county and every state has a service officer, and what we do is we help veterans, like if they have a service connected disability. Okay. Uh, we help them file all the paperwork, things like okay. that. Okay. Awesome. They have uh, dependents and things. We kind of help with the paperwork and dependents. Okay, and so widows benefits and things like that. Okay, and so y'all, the y'all are y'all the people that point. Um, veterans in the way of like medical or would that be somewhere else? That would be uh, like the VA clinic uh, further down the parking lot or the okay. VA hospital in Houston. Okay. But awesome. we, start the, we help you with all the paperwork to get to that point. Okay. Once you awesome. get a diagnosis. Awesome. So. Um, are these for uh, to grab? Absolutely. Okay, awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm just a journalist. I'm just gathering some content oh, for a story. Oh, there you go. No, oh, okay. no. Um, I have a lot of family members who are veterans, though. So. Oh, good. Um, without that, just um, to show you something else. Okay. Like if a veteran uh, was... I can't go too far because I'm strapped to it. I got oh, my wire. Okay. Yeah. okay, that's fine. I'm cabled in. <laughs> like, uh, for instance, if a veteran uh, uh, is going to be buried in a private cemetery, mm -hmm. uh, they can get something like this. Yeah. I'll just move it like this. Yeah, there you go. Um, like for the foot of the grave? Yeah. If, it, if they're in a private cemetery or is it going to be buried like the National Cemetery like in Houston or something like that? If that comes like in bronze uh, uh, or marble. Or they can get an upright one. Okay. And uh, but I always tell people to check the cemeteries. A lot of cemeteries only want flat things. Yeah. And I could give you the papers. Yeah, I would love yeah. to. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Just because I, I, I'm just gathering, I'm just gathering some story, but I just uh, doing a story on Dallas okay. County um, and oh, the health okay. departments and stuff oh, like that. Okay. So I'm just just one of that. And then like so, the veterans, uh, Vietnam veterans, mm -hmm. those days in orange. And they have the medical forms for them. Once they get a diagnosis, we have all the paperwork for them so they can possibly get compensation. Awesome. And little things like if the veteran dies of that. Okay. That's a different way that's been a good way to lay it's you know. That's a good idea. I never heard of that. That's why I come in here and do these things because a lot of people don't know this. So, yeah. awesome. Well, thank you, ma'am. My name's Austin. Yeah, I'm Terry. Nice yeah, to meet you, Terry. Just to give you an idea of what the things are. Thank you. Um, yeah. Do you have a business card? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Let me give you Jeff's. He's our service officer. You've been really nice. I appreciate it. Good. It's a better better greeting than I got at the WIC office. So. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, we're kind of the we're county, but we're kind of the redhead step <laughs> Um, so are y'all state or are y'all federal? We're county. Are y'all county? Yeah, okay. every county and every state has a service office. Okay. People just still don't, I believe you in just a second, still, people still don't know we exist. Yeah, well, I, I didn't know this was here. Yeah. I had to look it up on the map. Okay. Yeah, so, awesome. and then like, um, 
Uh, Can I take this? Absolutely. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's the one you're looking at back there. Yes, ma'am. And that's the upright one. This is for private cemeteries. Okay. Now, if they're buried like in the National Cemetery in They get the, the yeah. Okay. All right. And then, like my father-in-law, he was a World War, I mean, excuse me, a Korean War veteran. Mm -hmm. He and my mother-in-law in one box, and we put him in one of the little niches at the National Cemetery in Houston. Oh, that's, that's awesome. They can do that, too. Okay. And if a veteran passes away and they're buried at the National Cemetery, mm -hmm. later on the wife will be buried on top of it later on. Oh, that's nice, too. Okay, awesome. So that's just little know. things like that. And then, Sweet. Um, okay, awesome. I'll then definitely we, take this. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, this is why I come in here and do this, because I, I love learning things, you know? Yeah. As my grandfather used to say, you're never too old to learn something. Right, exactly. So. Um, Think of what else. I got too many. I got too many pockets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got too many batteries. I got three. I got my cell phone. I got this camera. That camera. You only camera, have one cell camera. phone. I'm surprised. Well, I have. I have this cell phone too. But, oh, oh, okay. Um, but I use like if I need to make a phone call or, um, or I, if I need to call my attorney or something like that um, to help explain things, then oh, I just yeah. I use this phone because I don't want to stop my recording just to you know. Yeah. But thank you, man. It was so much. You said your name was Terry. Terry. Thank yeah, you so you much. Okay. Awesome. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. You have a great day, ma'am. Me too. Take care. Will do. Hi. Sir. Alright guys, so this is the back side of the WIC office that we were at earlier in the video. Hmm? You're not allowed to do that. What? We're not allowed to do that. It's a public, but they don't want you doing that. They call. If you don't leave, I have to call law enforcement. You can't. You're not allowed to do that. I they can take video in here. It's perfectly legal. No. You're yeah. not allowed to do that. I can. I promise you. It's perfectly legal. I do this all over the country. Could I speak to her real quick? Um, okay, I was just gonna say like, this is restricted access and the room I was in over there, if you put a key card to it, that way it's restricted so nobody can get in it. That's all I was gonna tell her. Okay. Yeah, no worries, you have a good day. office space guys okay this is authorized staff only it's open we're not gonna go back there because that's restricted It says they close at 12, but that's on the Wednesday. This is Tuesday. Hello. How's it going? Um, I was just wondering what y'all do here. What do we do here? Yeah. Um, I'm in the training right now, so I'm... Um, oh, okay. Yeah, no. No worries, brother. Come back like... 30 minutes, then yeah. I can Sounds good. No worries, brother. Thank you. You have a great day. Very friendly. Polite. Professional. Here you go, sir. What's up, there, cool? Uh, nothing much. Just okay. chilling, brother. Yes, sir. You right. have a great day. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so as you're about to see here in a minute, there are so many interruptions while I'm asking questions. I do lose my train of thought, so bear with me. I do ask this the same question about three, two to three times um, because as soon as I ask them, I get interrupted by someone coming up to me asking what I'm doing or who I'm with. So bear with me, guys. How's it going, ma'am? Oh, don't don't worry. You look very lovely today. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I was just wondering what y'all do here. It says immunizations. I was just wondering what that was. 
Yeah, so we are the immunizations department. So we okay. do um, immunizations for kids without insurance and adults without insurance. Okay. Um, uh, we do flu shots. <laughs> we do like. How, how much do they, are they free or do they cost? Or? It's just an administration fee if you have no insurance okay. at all. How much? <laughs> hmm? I'm with myself. Okay. Um, we, we need to get clearance for videotaping in here through our, our department out there. Well, y'all y'all are the county health, right? Right. Yeah, we then are. it's perfectly legal. There's no clearance needed. Okay, I still would like to check with our department too to make sure. You can check with whoever you need to check with. Don't worry. I got I got permission from James. James? Yeah. Who's Madison, James? the founder, one of the founders of our country from the First Amendment, United States Constitution. Uh, Freedom of press. I don't know about that one. You don't know? Okay. So you said it was an administration fee? Yeah. How much is the administration fee? Does it does it depend on how many shots you get or I'm just curious. I'm just a journalist and gathering some content for a story. Yeah, it's thirteen dollars for one, twenty four for two. So you said it's thirty dollars for one. I don't need any help right now. I'm getting some help from this lady. Is he in need of immunization services? Okay. And what is what is it that you're recording for? Myself. Okay. So what I want you to do is come with me over to the administrative office. No, I'm good. Thanks. I'm just gonna finish gathering my information here, and then I'm finish walking around. I, I think you need permission for this. I don't need permission. First Amendment, United States Constitution. See, what this is is a business, and so it's part of the county. In right? order to, yes, it is it's a part of the. It's Galveston County Health District. Yeah. Okay. This is a county building. So you said it was like twenty dollars for four. Or is it twenty dollars for two? It's twenty four for two or more. Twenty four for two or more. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. You have a great day. As you can see guys, we never went past the sign, so we stayed in the public areas. Sir, yes. you may have permission to walk in the building, mm -hmm. but you don't have permission to talk to people. I don't Can need permission to ask to questions. Me what the purpose is for you being here? I don't need to explain anything. You're in. By your logic, you don't have permission to talk to me. You yes. may have permission to walk in the building, mm -hmm. but you don't have permission to talk to people. That makes no sense. You are in a place of business, uninvited. You're in a county you health facility. You are walking facility. into business suites, interrupting services. I'm not interrupting without anybody. Without permission. You walked into the WIC office. Did I interrupt anybody? You walked into a WIC office uninvited. They had no idea of who you were. You can't just walk well, into a place. My name is Wendy Jones, and I'm the compliance officer. Okay. And you need permission in order to walk through any business. Or this is a or county facility. It is a county facility. She said it's a public facility. It is if a it's county public? facility, and we yes. are a business, and we're operating with patients and clients. The post you office do not is have a, permission to come in. The post and office video is a business, our and I can still video or in anyone there. else in the building that's a patient or a client. Okay. It's actually a violation. They're in public. Well, what, what is it a violation of? It could be a HIPAA violation. If you, you are video, in violation of HIPAA. If you videotape someone that is in here for services and they do not give you permission. Are you going to continue And the employees room? did not give you permission for you to be videotaping them, then you are in They're violation. public employees, ma'am. You are a public employee. If you don't like it, go work for a the private sector. All right, guys, so I'm taking the video on this cell phone here and um, I pause it because I have this cell phone and I try to see if I can um, start a live stream up. I'm not able to start a live stream, so I get on the phone with Great Lakes Audits. Uh, he's an amazing guy, 
Love you, dude. Um, and uh, this Mr. Kaiser, as you'll see, is just a power hungry. Oh, uh, he's a he's he does not need to work for the public, especially as aggressive as he is. Just just watch this. It's crazy. Excuse me. And then. Um, excuse me. Tell me your excuse. Phone call. I'm on a phone call. Okay. You can either tell me who you are or I'm calling the cops. Why are you being so aggressive with me, sir? Because you're walking around filming and you're not asking and you're not being What's polite. your name? All right, guys. So we have him admitting two big things here. Um, he admits that he's very being very aggressive with me. And two... He admits, he says that I'm not being polite. My name is Philip Kaiser. Okay, I'm the how local am I not being polite? I'm the local health authority for Galveston County. Yeah, good for Who you. are you and why are you filming? I don't need to explain myself to you. Yes, you do. Call the police. Do whatever you're going to do. I'm all right, Paula. And you go that way right All right. They have veteran services here. They got a bunch of stuff here. I don't know. I haven't asked yet. Yeah, I think I just spoke to one of them, yeah. Yeah, I will. I can. Let me see, where's the officer at? You said there was an officer here? Yes. Okay. Where's he at? Is he over that way? Where, where's he at? Yeah, sure. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. It's all good. Where's he at? No, one of the one of the guys that was said he was like the director. Oh, there he is. It's a public building, is it not? It is. Okay. Yes, so can you explain to them that it's perfectly legal for me to record inside? Yes, that is, cool. but, but the patient care area. All right, guys. So when they say patient care areas, they mean this, where it says that only escorted patients and immunization staff allowed past this door. So yeah, let me tell are. you, the first area okay. you went into, excuse me, the first area you went into, there's women and children receiving services there, and some of those yeah. women, some of those women come from shelters, battered shelters. Okay. So you can't put them on film. That puts them if at they're risk. In public. There's, this is a patient care area. Yes. You cannot. And do And it's that. public, and I need to do. I need to. I need to Guess what? Some video. The law, the same laws, do, the laws don't apply. Patient confidentiality trumps whatever no, law it does of not. access. It does not trump the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Okay. Just because oh, you... Really? Are you a member of the press? Okay. Yes, I am. Okay, I you ask you, I ask you this who you are. This guy's going to get violent. Sir. He's okay. getting really loud. He's been aggressive violent, with me. He's right, gotten up right. in my face. He needs to back up. Look, we'll watch. Sir, you Go continue, for it. You sir, continue sir. to advance on me. I will okay. defend myself. I didn't advance. Sir, you did. Back up. Back up. Okay, let me, let me talk to get you. Get him off the premises. Okay, look. If you don't do it, I'll call the sheriff again. Like, the sheriff will do nothing. They'll do the same thing. Like... Like you said, it's a public place. Yeah. Okay. You are allowed to take photos, record all that. Yep. However, if there is a patient care area where privacy is expected because someone's receiving medical treatment. Yeah, and that's behind the counters in the authorized right. personnel cannot, only areas. You cannot film I'm going I'm in going into the offices that are publicly accessible. I'm not right. going behind the counters. I'm not going through the staff only areas. Right. Every time that there's a staff only or a authorized personnel only sign, I stop. I do not go any further. If you go into any of the offices, you will see that there are staff only signs or client mm -hmm. only signs, and that's where the clients and the staff go. That is where I have to stop. I can go in and ask questions right. and do my investigation, do what I need to do, mm -hmm. and then go about my business. That's not illegal. Right. Just because they don't like it, it might be uncomfortable, it doesn't make it illegal. So, May I ask if you, the purpose of your. I'm doing this. I'll, I'll explain, if you know what, if, if this ends the way I think it's going to end, I'll explain it to you. I'll, I'll give you that. Okay. Well, my only concern is I think you have every right to do whatever it is you're doing. It is a public building. That's fine. My only concern is the patients. We, I'm, I'm we not deal, here for and, the but patients. I understand that. But getting them on film, I didn't there get, are patients I haven't gotten anybody area. on film. Okay. 
that I I got when I was in the WIC office. I took video from uh, it was the right, and then I took video from the left. I think I might have gotten their feet, and if I do get them on there, I will edit it out. All right, so just a clarification here. I did edit out the people that I did get in the WIC office. There was a couple there. Um, it was a black gentleman and a white lady uh, sitting side by side. I'm going to assume they were a couple. And, uh, you know, I edited them out. You'll see a jump as I'm moving um, from right to left. You'll see the camera kind of pan. And then as it pans, it skips. And I'm over here taking video from this side. I didn't get, I didn't, I edited them out. I don't care. I'm not there for the people in the office. I'm there for the employees. Um, so yeah. Okay. I have a hard time remembering stuff, so I have to record everything. I've got more cameras on me than you even know about. The just three you see is more than what you're actually seeing. So, um, this kind of response for a guy taking video and pictures in a public building, you even said it was public. And then for this guy to come out as aggressive so, as he did, get right up in my face, you know. May I, may I real quick? Yeah, go ahead. So the last three years, we've dealt with an array of people, even 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 questionable actors, because of our stance response, yeah. because we deal with people in high-risk populations, sheltered women, substance use disorder, mental health disorder. We have to take it seriously for, for our employees okay, I, I and for get our that. patients. So it's, it is like, what but is that would be like That would be what like is? you saying, you know, oh, that's a black guy walking around. He must be breaking into cars or no, something. No, it's not like you that. You don't treat everybody the same. Yeah, it's not like I'm just that. saying as an analogy, sir. Because y'all are so profiling me because I'm walking here? through a public building. What, what is the end result? What are you trying to obtain? I'm trying to gather information, and, and then I will leave when I'm done. What information are you trying to gather? Anything that I can gather from a publicly accessible area. Okay. Give me a little bit more context so maybe we can help you. Any information that I can gather from a publicly accessible area. But information, a lot of people don't, what do you mean? A lot of people don't know that in, in immunizations you can get two or more shots for $24. Most people don't know that. I wouldn't have known that if I didn't walk in there and ask the question of how much it costs and what they do there. So I'm gathering whatever I can get from a publicly accessible area. Okay. And then okay. what what do you want to do? Because we can get our um, communications director, yeah, our public information you officer, you and okay. she can help well, I can you. Go around and That's get it a, probably the best help. point Actually, of entry is gaining. You seem to need help, sir. You seem to be very aggressive, and I don't see why you're acting this way. Because you are violating our patient's confidentiality. I got it on the video. Hold on. That's fine. Because you are violating our patient's confidentiality. That is your responsibility to protect that information. Exactly. Which is yes. why I kicked but you out of I, the building. You didn't kick me. I'm going right back in. You didn't kick me out of Jack. Am I detained or am I free to go? Am I detained or am I free to go? No, no, no. That is the question we're talking about right now. I'm going in if you're not going to tell me if I'm detained. Hold on for a second. All right, guys, so what you're about to see is me go back in this building. Oh, you kicked me out? Really? Okay, well, I, I decided to go back in. Like, I'm done with this because it's if it's a consensual encounter, it's a consensual encounter. If I'm not detained, I'm free to go. And if I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. And if I'm free to go, I'm free to walk right back in that building and start recording again. Um, but, guys, this is ridiculous. Uh, so this cop is standing right next to me. So what you're going to see happen is... I'm about to hit the door with my shoulder because he's walking very close to me and I didn't want to have to accidentally bump him and then say I uh, assaulted an officer. So I have to be very careful and me keeping as close to the door as I can to keep as much distance between me and the officer as possible. I accidentally bumped the door and that's what the officer says is aggressive. So just, just watch. No, I'm not holding on for nothing. I'm going in. I'm not detained, and I'm, I'm not detained, and I'm free to go. I can walk in the public building. Listen, we're, we're about to talk over here. There's no. a lot of patients here that need their privacy. Okay, have we're you been in this building? Do you see how many patients are in here? Do you need to you need to step out for a second? Can we need to talk? No, about? I'm going to talk right you're, you're, you're being a little aggressive, sir. I'm not being aggressive with yes, nothing. So you're being loud, and, and you're, you're forwarding your body towards this yes. area. Yes, it's a public building. It, okay, can you step out? Can you answer this question? Is this the public part of the building? I'm not sure. I'm about to find out. Okay, if you go to the end of the hall, that's where it says staff only. 
I am I'm, not. I'm not. I'm not trying to mean. I'm not being. Well, you're, being, I'm not being yeah. you're being a little. You're being a little loud. Well, I've got I a guy that's being I know, very aggressive, and we're about to address that. But you need to step okay. out. To, I'll step outside. To decrease the peace. To decrease the peace, please. That's what we're asking. I'll, I'll step outside. Thank you, sir. But as soon as we get done out there, I'm coming back in. You're not going to keep me out of a public place. Say what? So you see my office is talking about. Okay, no, I, I like this stuff. Is he asking you so. to sit as, a, as you're being detained? You no, being detained? no, we're, we're, we're not, not being detained. Okay, that's not like that's that. my attorney we're on just, the phone. That's why we're I'm just here. being we're being in okay. right now. We're just all right. Okay. Someone's upset there. You seem a little upset. I'm not right? upset. I'm very so, calm. No, no. I've been hey, calm, no. even when he kept approaching me, and and he had to actually back that guy up off of me. So, okay. I'm very calm. Right. If I was uncalm, you would know. Okay. Okay. That's a very that's a very accurate statement. Okay, you would know right. if I was being uncalm. Right. So what so, are we what are we doing? Here? So let me ask you this: How long do you think it would take to I don't gather your? I don't want to lie to you and tell you ten minutes and it be thirty. So I don't know how long it's going to take. But if I would have just been left alone, I probably would have already been gone. Right. But now I have to prove a point. Right. Because. That guy wants to keep saying I kicked you out of the building. He didn't. I walked out here freely to speak to the police mm. because I heard the police were here. Right. Okay? So I came out here to talk to y'all as a courtesy. Mm -hmm. He said it's a public building. It's completely fine for me to be here. Actually, I need to get your name and guys, maybe imagine or something I'm talking yeah. to. Yeah. Can you get yours? Well, as soon as you finish talking, I'll give it to you. Okay. But so that's that's pretty much it. I just came out here to speak to y'all. And then I'm going back in. Okay. Right. In a very calm, polite manner. I just, you ask anybody in there if I've been rude? I have it. Talk to Terry. I was very nice to her. Mm -hmm. I spoke to her. I think it was, um, I'm going to reach in for my pocket no, for a business okay. card. Um, Terry Phillips. Spoke to her. Very nice. Very polite. Had no issues. She actually gave me some public information I didn't know about. So that's, you know, the stuff that I do. I gather information. It was actually about, uh, actually that, that gentleman was in the office when I was in there. But it's about uh, burial benefits for veterans. Okay, and then I've got another thing in my pocket here that talks about what kind of placards they get if they go to a, a private cemetery when they're buried instead of the national cemetery in Houston. So I'm just gathering public information, which is completely legal. There's nothing legal about it. Okay. So talk to that gentleman that was aggressive towards you. I don't know where he went. He went somewhere else. So can I get your name and badge number? I'm sorry. Can I get your name and badge number? Officer Bonner. Bonner? Okay. Yeah. Well, it, it looks a certain way, and yeah. I don't want to be an right. asshole. You know? Extra in. Just yeah, just an extra in. You yeah, enunciate the extra in, and well, that's my name. I had, a, I had an officer one time, I accidentally called him that, but I didn't see the R. Yeah. But it was B O, so I thought it was B O N E R, but it's Bronner instead of. Yeah. Bonner. Yeah. So that was, that's why I always ask for enunciations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a guy, I had an officer I met, his name was Phillips. Mm -hmm. But it was a weird spelling, yeah. and it looked a lot similar to the male appendage. <laughs> so it was like, it was P H I P E S. Okay. And I was like, whew, yeah. alrighty. He's French, so yeah, you know, they have a yeah. a different language, and and they they have a lot of different letters. So yeah. Okay. But no, I'm here just peacefully exercising my constitutional rights to right. video in public and gather information. Okay. I'll be gone. This 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 literally. Should have yeah. taken five minutes. Right. So, yeah. and I was going back in here because that gentleman said he kicked me out of the building, which is absolutely not the case. I came out here on my own free will right. to speak to y'all. He was walking over there. That's why I didn't notice where you were. So when I saw right. your car parked over there, I was like, oh, he's over. that's why you saw me walking that way when you came out here. Right. Because yeah. I was going over to your vehicle to see if you were in there or not. Right. So, but, uh, yeah. There he is right there. Yeah, I think Officer Ray is one. Yeah, but anytime, if you go down this hall here, there's an authorized personnel only, or authorized staff only, and then if you go, there's like a, a break, and it goes left and right, mm -hmm. and those hallways, at the end of those hallways, there's one with the door open that says authorized personnel, never went into it, and then uh, there's another one that says authorized personnel, when you go straight down this hall, it breaks off to left and right. It's right. a set of brown doors and a set of gray doors. Okay. So. All right. And I'm trying to get my business done before they close here at five, so. Right. We could wrap this up pretty quick.
Yeah. And it's all, I'm all about education. You right, seem pretty educated right. on the fact that I can do this. I've had interactions all across the United States. I do this all over the country. So. Yeah. Well, my father is also in law enforcement. Oh, he yeah? works in the court, courthouse in County Galveston. So oh, okay. they have people who come there doing that all the time. And, oh, yeah. You know, same thing. As long as you don't go into any unrestricted yeah. areas or any of the courtrooms. Absolutely. You can, you can film. You can take pictures. You can do all that. Absolutely. Because it's a big building. Absolutely. Nobody essentially can kick you out. So, I mean, you're more, more, more than welcome to, to film, right? Okay. But there's certain areas that you can't. Right? Right. There's patients involved in, in an office or in a waiting room. You're not allowed because there's certain special type of needs, people that I'm not allowed to say. Okay, but what I'm saying is, is that's their duty to protect them. I can go into a public lobby just as they can, okay? But if there's patients, is it due to the protection of their... But see, the see, the, the First Amendment... And the public are allowed in the same place. So, just, and the HIPAA laws do not apply to me. Well, that's not. Well, if that's what you're saying, protection. That's what they quoted earlier was HIPAA. Right. I HIPAA does not apply to me. I'm not HIPAA well, certified. I don't claim to be HIPAA certified. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a medical care provider or any sort of fashion okay. like that. What HIPAA applies to is them, and their and back behind their desk is they have to keep that information private. So when I go into an office and I need to ask for services or if I need to ask what they do here mm -hmm. or questions like that, just because somebody's in there doesn't bar me from going in there. So, okay. The legality of it is is the First Amendment applies to the publicly accessible areas. Now, behind the counters are a different story. I can't jump over the counters right. and I can't go back in the doors. But right. it's like it's like saying like if I went into as his dad works in the courthouse if I went into the clerk's office in the county courthouse in Galveston, if I go into the clerk's office on the second, third, or fourth floor, mm -hmm. you know, I can go in, in between the elevators, I can go into that public area and go to the civil or criminal side. I just can't go behind the desk or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But, but what I was getting at is if somebody was in there and that would keep me from doing it, that, you know, yeah, and if someone, but if somebody was talking to a medical professional, but in they the course of the, they if, do that behind closed doors. Yeah, but they might be out there talking to somebody else. Well, I mean that, that's that's a question that you need to talk to them about okay. because that would be them violating HIPAA laws. So you're more than welcome. Wait, We're just going to follow you and make that's sure. That's fine. That's fine. I'll show. I'll even take you on a tour yeah, and show you no, where I've been. You don't need to worry about that. <laughs> so um, the only thing is, I ask you just be careful with other because there's certain there's certain people there that are protected by. Uh, I don't want to say like restraining orders. No, okay. something like that. That's yeah. that fact that if if they were to get I'll tell you down, this. I'll tell you this. I'm not here for anybody. That's what okay. I told them. That's what Correct. I told you earlier. I'm not here for anybody right, in public. Somebody's watching your video and they say, "Oh, that's so and so," and I've been. But see, that's the thing. I cut out. Person. I cut out people. Okay. Okay. Because I get undercover cops on video all the time, and mm -hmm. if they're nice, I don't post their face. Right. Right. Because I would hate to have somebody who was nice to me right. Yes, right. get killed. Yes, right. You know what I'm saying? Correct. I mean, call uh, Memori uh, Memorial Villages Police Department, speak to uh, Lieutenant Bogus. Mm -hmm. I believe Well, I'm just saying, yeah. speak to him. Yeah. We had a great interaction, Nothing. no problems. Right. right. You know, and he helped us out, get some video and pictures and stuff like that mm -hmm. from an active shooter training they had up on uh, with the FBI in Harris County. Right. So... When I tell you that I'm not here for anybody, I'm specifically right. here to get services that I need right. and right. leave. Okay. This would already been done. I was right. waiting for the cops because they said they were calling I the wish cops. Would have been done already. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's go ahead. And okay. Well, I think I'm done in this building. I'm gonna pop over to that side. So I think I'm done in here. I, I think I've got all the information I need out of here. But I'm gonna go back in just to prove a point that it's been done. Okay. I mean, if he if he tries to engage. I won't engage with yeah, him. I just, didn't engage with him. I was on the right, phone when he yeah. started engaging me. Very rude. It's all recorded. Okay. Um, I actually yeah, like like I said, if he if he tries to get hostile with you, just like you said, don't engage with him. Just keep walking. Yeah. Just stay in the public areas, like you said, you know, and there shouldn't be any issues. Okay. Cool. Right. Because That's they need to harass you, would they entertain the idea? Of so he, my lawyer was saying if, if he continues to harass me while I'm walking throughout the building, would y'all entertain the uh, possibility? We'll talk, we'll talk. This order of just, conduct. Just, just like we're talking to you. Okay. Being impartial, we'll talk to him. Okay, that's we'll fine. Yeah. That's fine. I got one bike.
Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. I was just making What was your name again? Officer Reyes, Reyes. Uh, badge number 2114. 2114. Right. My name's Austin. Nice hey. to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Yeah, I'm going to go in here and see if he's okay. if he's busy. If he's not busy, then I'm going to... Because he said he was in a training. That's why I was... Oh, I guess they locked it. Okay, well... Wednesday, 12 o'clock. Yeah. November 23rd. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. They're still there open during business hours, but uh, I guess they lock. They're gonna lock all the build, all the doors. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. I'll be back. Well, you know, consider it because you do seem like you're a very uh, attentive person. Well, I just yeah, because of you, you're being such a, I guess, a guardian of your first amendment. It would be nice to have someone like that to protect people like kids mm -hmm. and. People that are a victim of family violence and yeah, that's true. stuff like that, you know, you can use that passion. Absolutely, absolutely, in a, in a, in a, in a different way, I'll say that. Good morning, y'all. Talk to Dr. Kaiser. Yes. You can. Yeah. Cool, I'm going to walk to the next one. Yeah, the reason I bumped into the door when I was it's because you were following next to me, and I didn't want to accidentally bump into you. Oh, okay. So that's why I was keeping a distance, so you couldn't try to say, oh, you know, he yeah, fell into yeah. me or something. Yeah, but it's not like that. I get, Our job is to be impartial and then, you know, see, it's refreshing to hear that. And, and, and prevent the peace, you know what I mean? 